At Arrowhead, you can see the Raiders, Yannick, and Gakwe assembling with his colleagues on the logo. Protecting your territory, your brand, and your identity is meaningful. That usually gets teams fired up, so we'll see what the Chiefs say in response to the Raiders' early challenge. San Francisco, you must find a way to reach the quarterback. Running the football, Prescott takes off. Wow, I really doubt this will turn out good. This will be easy for them to claw. It would be part of their preparation. The official is a major pain in the neck. Oh no, the game has ended. Well, he did, and now we're in this situation. Remember that we observed this play following the fake punt. Well, Jane, here it is. Here in the center, you are not allowed to place your own balls. Instead, you must hand them over to the referee. That, at the end of the game, Prescott ought to have sought out the referee. Disparaging behavior once again, Marsh elevates the play. Their methodology is based on training videos. I don't understand what they desire or don't desire. He's been walking toward the bench for six, seven, or eight steps now. The hump is visible to you. Do you think that could be significant? There was some physical touch. No, he's already there. And what happened next has already happened. We are informed that that's just Antonio Brown naked, jerseyless. On the sidelines, there were some frustrating moments, not with him specifically, but with the Buccaneers. Both teams were prepared to snap the ball, including his college buddies. However, the Raiders' side took exception to something, and a Porchu was brought in to help. Keep an eye on his head as he steps in. He has a habit of spitting on his opponents all five of the styles. Scrambling and throwing it back to the end zone, Burrow tries to keep it alive. Is it a touchdown or did he go out of bounds first? A touchdown, a touchdown, was the outcome of the play. Please take the time to hear the play. Stay alert for Burrow's impending toss. He'll be blowing the whistle shortly. Standing ovation, then it appears. It was an incorrect whistle. And once they've deemed the player out of bounds, the play is done regardless of whether it changed the outcome of the game. They are also unable to correct the mistaken whistle. It was a loose ball in flight, so they should have done what was right because the whistle was actually replaying the down. According to the rules, they are unable to score on that play. Throwing that challenge flag could cause him to damage something. He must exercise caution. Since he has one unsportsmanlike behavior under his belt, he must be. He was the one who initiated communication. Sure enough, it was Rogers. Attention, 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 defense number 40, pass interference. Over the past few occasions, Allen, they have shown him. In the backfield, that's Mooney. On fourth and one, Fields tries to keep the play alive by rolling to the right but he is now dead. He's going to run the play like this. Score, edge, first down, shoulder injury. Joey Bowser, Justin Jones, did jump on top of the football, but oh, when he got old, he was a total ham. Both Anderson and Bradbury, the center, who continues to run to the 14-yard line, had huge hits there. From the alignment that Gary Bradbury achieved, we have an impeccable reception that is comparable to the one Franco Harris had in the early 1970s, as you mentioned. Here we have Jones, who was going to take it, but failed to do so. He could be in pain. Completed the stop while wearing a helmet. The group is moving ahead. Ugh, on top of everything. What an unusual formation. Here you are, down to the four-yard line and you still aren't confident enough in your offensive to perform a standard play. Not having any faith in your offense's ability to execute when you're on the offensive end of the field. Their recent actions are just astounding. Keep it gentle so they don't feel pressure. Hertz is going to throw it to one of three tight ends on play action, but Dallas Goddard drops it. Authorities are gathering on the sidelines. The current holdup is that. Every step of the way, it's only a drop. 
The ball did not touch the ground, rather, it rebounded into the hands of the defender, resulting in an interception, according to the regulation following discussion on the field. Sure, we could use the screen. Even if the ball was long, it would eventually die. Rest assured, it will take precedence. We possessed.